Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're doing a BPL team of season predictions. I know there's gonna be a lot of people in in the comments saying, "Oh my god, she's a girl." Oh my god, she knows nothing about real life football and what's going on. I I don't. That's true. That's true. I don't generally watch f football. I I watch as many games as I can that are on that are available to me. But yeah, I would say I'm not the best person to talk about real life football. But for that reason, for your guys' sake, I have done my research on these players. And um, I've got my little notebook here telling me what to say and stuff. So, um, these players have been chosen by me. Um, we've got a full start in 11 and just 5 on the bench. Um, so in goal is a pretty obvious option, we've got De Gea, uh, it could be t uh, Courtois or Lloris but I chose De Gea because he's had like an amazing season, he's had three informs already, an upgrade, he had he upgraded by two um, and he's also, he saved Man United so much, that's why Man United have gone up so much in the leaderboards, leaderboards, when I say leaderboards or table um, and he's also had ten 10 clean sheets, maybe more, I don't know. Um, but De, De Gea is, a, is probably going to be, is, I don't know, around like 92 rated, 93, 91, 92 rated around there. And then uh, going to our um, defenders, we've got um, at right back, we've got Nathaniel Klein. Um, he is amazing. Like, he has had an upgrade from Silver. He's uh, most of these players have had upgrades. Um, he's now playing for the England uh, international team, which is a great opportunity for him for such a young player. He's a, he is great for a young player, and um, being solo rated in the team this season, probably an 81 rated. I'm seeing him being extinct with the price ranges. For the likes of Delph, uh, the man match Delph, having his price so low. For a man of match, he's he was extinct. So I'm seeing Klein being an extinct player with these price ranges, to be honest. And then we've got Jose Fonte. Um, bit of a weird one. He has had also had an upgrade from silver. A lot of these have had been upgraded from silver. Um, he had a silver in form. So obviously, um, being a silver in form, you never really noticed him in the team of the weeks. But um. He, he's pretty solid. I haven't actually used him myself, but for a Portuguese uh, centre-back in the BPL, he's actually he's pretty solid, I would say. He's pretty solid for Southampton as well, playing alongside uh, Nathaniel Klein as well. And then other centre-back, we've got uh, Koscielny, also had an upgrade. Um, he, he is a really solid player. He's got great pace. I use him in most of my BPL squads. He's got great pace, great defending. I'm seeing his team of the season being a beast of a team of the season and being quite expensive as well and we've got Ivanovic um, me thinking that he had an upgrade but that was as Pilicueta was other si or the other side of the Chelsea team basically um, he had an inform really early in the year I believe um, but he hasn't had um, any other informs no in upgrades but uh, he has been amazing for Chelsea uh, defending at defend obviously if there was no defenders Chelsea wouldn't be at the top of the leaderboard. Um, but yeah, then my defenders and goalkeeper. And then we go on to the midfielders. Uh, these are pretty obvious. Well, I would say they're pretty obvious. But um, we've got David Silva. Um, he has had three informs. I think he's had three informs. Yeah, he's two, he has three informs. Two being at cam and one being at left mid. Left mid is not good for him. I would say he's good for him, but a lot of you guys are going to screw me, I know that. But um, being a left mid at a team of season will probably bring his price a lot down. Um, him being an 87 rated normal card and him being at left mid has brought his price a lot. He, that's why he's so cheap, I guess, because uh, of the pace not going well with the left mid and stuff. But his team of season, I'm seeing it being at CAM or CM. Um, yeah, I don't see him being at left mid. We've got Nemanja Matic. He is a beast of a CDM. Like, I've never seen a CDM. Like, his team of season, you're seeing on the screen, he'll probably have 92 defending. Like, why hasn't he changed into a centre-back yet or something? But yeah, he also had an upgrade. He has no... He's had no informs this year so far. 
Um, last year, I believe, is in his team this season was an 86. I think it was an 86. I'm not sure. Um, but he is a really solid player. Um, having that good of a defending skill in the midfield. Um, Hazard is obviously he's got to be in there like he's been team he's had team season almost like every year or something um he's had no inform as well which is pretty he hasn't had an upgrade or an inform so um but in my opinion he's had a good season for chelsea because obviously he without him chelsea obviously wouldn't be at the top of the leaderboard as well um but to mark, to, I don't know why he hasn't had anything in form because uh, to me, I think he's had a good season. Um, and then we go on to Sanchez. Him having, I don't know how many in forms, like three and four in forms, three or four in forms, and a man of match that just came out last night, um, and an upgrade. So he's had an inform at Cam, uh, right wing, left wing. So he's been all the way, he's been all the way around the. Arsenal squad to be honest um, playing at all these different positions um, but yeah having that many like type of special cards I think he did definitely deserves a team of the season but I believe his, uh, his team of the season could be around a 92 that varies in like the informs how many informs he's had so I'm guessing it could be higher um, so yeah and then we go on to the strikers um, we obviously we have Harry Kane he has been incredible from the start of FIFA no one even knew who this guy was um, he was a 68 I think was it yeah 68 rated player silver incredible to go from a 68 to a 77 rated card that's like 11 up but he's also he's had two silver in forms uh, which is a 71 and a 74 I think and then um, a one gold in form that's been out recently, which is 79. And he's also uh, one of the top goal scorers joined with Aguero with 20 goals this season, which is incredible. Um, so he's had a whopping amazing year for him to be such a young um, player as well. And also joining an England international team as well and scoring goals in there. He has been incredible. Um, and then we go on to Aguero. He's had an upgrade as well. He has two in forms, an 87 and 88, and also the joint top goal scorer with Kane with 20 goals. And then we go on to the bench. Um, I don't really... Well, it's not the bench. It's just extra players that could be having team this season. We've got Costa. Um, he's also had an upgrade. Um, he is a dirty player. I'm not even kidding. You just look at his face. You can tell that he's an aggressive and dirty player. Um, he's all, but being aggressive and dirty has got him into uh, the third top goal scorer in the BPL, which is incredible for him. Um, also leading Chelsea to the almost pretty much victory, basically. Uh, we've got Charlie Austin, who's kind of in the same boat as Kane. They they both had an upgrade from a silver, and he's also in the top goal scorer. He's like the fourth top goal scorer as well. Um, yeah, he's, and he's also got an informed silver. Um, I don't even remember what week that was in, but um, he's been having a great season with the QPR as well. Um, and then Ericsson, he has been like he's been all the way around the whole squad of Tottenham. Um, he's had man and match. He's had man match and also an upgraded man match. Um, he's he started out at a left mid. Um, he's signed. He's kind of like silver basically he's got not a lot of pace to be a left mid so when he got an upgrade to an 84 he had a position change to cam so i, I think cam suits him more um he's also had one in form as well cam is just like the right place for him um uh, against qpr he scored the winning goal at qpr which is like the 88th minute um when everyone was throwing stuff at them the, la the winning goal for against QPR, um, he won that like a couple w days ago, I don't know. Um, he's had an upgrade, he has had no informs, um, and he's also the top assists in the BPL. He's had the most assi assists in the BPL, basically. Um, but yeah, he's been doing good for Chelsea, also making them uh, win, and yeah. And then uh, we got Emre Can. 
Um, he's also had an upgrade from a silver and a position change from a CD, CDM, I think a CDM to a CM, to, not a CDM, a CDM to a centre back, um, being the only guy in the BPL with four star skills at centre back, which is actually incredible. Um, and I believe he's been playing in midfield um, recently for Liverpool, and yeah. That's pretty much my um, predictions. Um, if you guys want me to do BBVA or Bundesliga, then leave a comment down below. And yeah, um, I'll read all of your comments that you say to me. I don't care if it's mean or whatever you want to say. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I'll see you guys next one. Peace, guys.